Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand non-preemptive priority scheduling algorithm. The concepts of round robin and many other CPU scheduling algorithms has already been discussed in our previous videos. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. Every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now coming to this class, non-preemptive to priority scheduling algorithm so there are uh, the priority scheduling algorithms are of two types one is preemptive and the other one is non preemptive in this class we'll try to understand non preemptive in the next class we'll try to understand preemptive priority scheduling algorithm so non preemptive scheduling algorithm the name itself is stating that whenever we want to access whenever we want to uh, select the process from the ready queue to the running uh, running state so we have to choose we, we will choose those processes based upon the priorities so here we are having the priorities based upon the priorities we are going to choose the processes and uh, uh, this is a non preemptive scheduling priority scheduling scheduling algorithm which means once the process is arrived into the running state it will not get preempted even if a high priority uh, pri high priority process has arrived uh, while this uh, process is getting executed while this process is getting executed even if the high priority uh, process has arrived so this process will not get preempted so that is what the non preemptive priority scheduling means okay so we'll try to understand that concept by using this uh, uh, example here at the arrival time of zero so as uh, at the start of this uh, processes so here uh, we have only one uh, process process p1 so and the priority and one more thing is so usually what happens is the priorities the the number with the uh, low number lowest number will have the highest priority and the highest number will have the lowest priority this is how the uh, things will happen usually but it may be in the vice versa order also means uh, highest number will have the highest priority and the lowest number will have the uh, lowest priority okay so uh, in our case we will consider the lowest number having the highest priority and the highest number having the lowest priority okay so as the arrival time is zero and the priority is one so we are going to so we are not choosing it because this is at the first uh, uh, zero at arrival time we have only this process so this process one uh, process p1 will be uh, scheduled okay so now this one is having the burst time of three so it will take three units of time and the next process so by the by the three units of time so all these processes so at this point all these processes p1 p2 p3 and p4 will be there in the ready queue now as p1 is executed so the completion the, the execution of the p1 is done so the process p1 is done so we are left with p2 p3 and p4 now which one has to be chosen so the decision has to be done based upon the priority so as the uh, number with the lowest value is having the highest priority so this process will get selected which is process p3 so process p3 will get selected and the p3 is having a burst time of 6 so the total uh, the amount of time so the, this is where the execution of this process is done now at this arrival at this point of time we are having all the processes so all the processes has been arrived and the execution of p3 is already done so now we are left with p2 p4 and p5 so among these three processes which one is having the lowest priority so the lowest priority is p5 so p5 will get executed and the burst time is 2 so this one will get executed until this point and uh, now what are the remaining processes so p2 and p4 among these two p2 will get executed because p2 is having the highest priority among these two okay so the burst time is 7 so 18 and the next one is p5 p5 sorry p4 sorry this is p2 p2 will get executed uh, okay and next is uh, p4 p4 will get executed and the burst time is 1 so it is going to be 19 okay so this is how the non preemptive priority scheduling will work now uh, we will calculate the completion time so what are the completion time for the p1 p1 is uh, so uh, completion time 
P1 completion time is 3. P1 completion time is 3. And uh, P2. P2 is here. P2 is here uh, which is 18. 18. Okay. And P3. P3 is having 9. And uh, P4 having 19. And P5 is having uh, 11. Okay. And what about turnaround time? Turnaround time is uh, completion time minus arrival time so 3 minus 0 the turnaround time is 3 18 minus 1 17 and uh, 9 minus 2 7 19 minus 3 16 11 minus 5 uh, which is uh, 6 okay and what about uh, waiting time okay so the waiting time is so uh, waiting time is turnaround time minus burst time 3 minus 3 which is 0 17 minus 7 uh, 10 7 minus 6 1 16 minus 1 15 and 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 which is 4 so these are all the waiting times so this is this is how the non preemptive priority sch scheduling algorithm will work hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching